Two suspects taken into custody after Oshawa Center stabbing. The food court area was shut down for an investigation, say police. One victim was transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Thank goodness. I mean, who here goes to the Oshawa Center? I would ask you to raise your hand, but I can't see you, so hit the like button instead. I mean, even if you don't go to their food court, even if nothing there interests you, you got to walk through it. I mean, the food court is right there. It's at the main entrance. So you're walking through that. So even if you walk by the sushi, you walk by the Taco Bell, the ca- everything that's there, you're still cutting through the food court. And if your intention was to walk through the food court, hang a right so you can go to H&M, and this was going down, you would have been a witness. Hopefully, just that. So I'm not understanding how one comes to this decision. You're in a mall, in the food court. There's clearly an audience, witnesses everywhere. Also, cameras, because you're in a mall. You have everything going against you. So if you start an altercation, or if one ensues and it's gonna get physical and you decide to pull a weapon, knife, gun, whatever, how do you think this is gonna end? Not well for you. In a worst case scenario, you kill this other person. You have a room, a mall full of witnesses. You have videotape. They find you, they take you to trial and you go to jail and you serve the max because tons of witnesses videotape, can't deny it. So I'm trying to understand how these very obvious things don't go through one's mind. Even if it's not worst case scenario, you still don't want to be arrested. You still don't want to go to jail for something like this. I'm not trying to tell people how to do their business. I'm not a criminal, I'm not a mastermind. I don't partake. But couldn't you have just followed the person outside? Maybe once they're outside, they get into their car, you get into yours. Couldn't you have just followed them? Couldn't you have just approached them where there's no witnesses at the bare minimum, no cameras, which would be hard in 2024? I mean, this doesn't take a whole lot of brain power. Just follow them out. Don't do it in front of a crowd of people where there's cameras. But you know what? I'm actually glad that the level of criminal that would do something like this is this stupid. I don't want you guys to be smart because that means you get away with it and you're still walking the street. I want you to continue to do your crimes in broad daylight in front of everyone with the cameras rolling. Action. This way we can catch you, get you off the street, hopefully rehabilitate you, and then have you become a productive member of society. But reality is, if you're stupid enough to do this, there's probably no hope for you anyways.